Hey, welcome to another tutorial video from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell so that you get to see all our tutorials as soon as they are released. Now, on to today's tutorial. Today, we are going to be adding text overlaid onto an image using Elementor, um, specifically text overlaid onto the background image. Uh, adding text on top of an image is a pretty cool and often used design trick to make eye-catching banners, promos, hero sections, or info sections on your website. You probably noticed text overlaid on image on many websites, like I said. Uh, so let's learn how to do it using uh, Elementor. So uh, specifically, today we are going to be making one similar to this kayak rental site that you see on the screen right here. Nothing too fancy. It's a pretty simple thing to do in Elementor. So start by adding a container, obviously, in the layout tab, choose full width and in the content width. Uh, then set the minimum height to 1000 or just maybe just depends on the image you are using. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to set the height to 1000. Under justify content, choose center. This is for the heading and text elements that will be added in the image. Then go to the style tab, click on background overlay and select classic. Now choose the image of your choice. Uh, so you want to select a high quality background image that complements the overall design and maintains readability of the overlay text. You want to ensure that the image that you select doesn't overpower the text. Um, here, high contrast between the, uh, between the image and the text uh, works very well. We have an article on our website that gives you tips for choosing high contrast colors. So be sure to check that out in the description box. So now moving on, uh, so we'll set the position to center, center, and display size to cover. We'll set the opacity to one. Under CSS filters, you could choose the following values. Next, let's add two heading elements and a text element. Now enter the text of the first heading. Navigate to the style tab and change the text color. Change the font size to let's say 40. Now let's do the same thing for the second heading. So enter the text for second heading, then for the HTML tag, let's change that to an H1. Head to style tab, change its color. Now let's go to text element. So let's go ahead and change up that text. Go to the style tab and change the text color also and change the font size. So now customize the text appearance. Uh, choose fonts that complements the over design of your website and branding and is easy to read. Uh, avoid overly decorative fonts that may sacrifice readability. Um, additionally, consider the size of the text. Uh, make it large enough to be legible on all screen sizes, but not so large that it dominates the entire image because you want the text and the image to kind of complement each other. Um, now, let's go back to the container settings, go to the advanced tab. But before we do, if you enjoyed this video so far, go ahead and click that like button and uh, subscribe and hit that bell too if you haven't done so already. Okay, all right, back to the video. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, in the advanced tab, set the right and left padding to let's say 50. Uh, you, uh, you can explore other customization options in the left sidebar nerf. Um, then click save and then preview the changes on um, all screen sizes. Uh, and so by following these steps, you can effectively overlay text on top of the background image in the elementary while ensuring a visually appealing and uh, readable design. Um, that's it for the tutorial. Pretty simple, right? Um, 
So I hope you found it helpful. If you did, uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more about mentor tips and tutorials. And if you use other page builders too, we have a bunch of tutorials on with uh, other page builders also. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Hey.